Hey everyone, welcome back to KC3D Sparks. Today we're going to be creating a more generalized tent, kind of what you would see in your regular base camp. So I know last week we did kind of like that military style or kind of more elite tent. So this week we're going to go with a basic one and we're going to add a lantern and all that kind of fun stuff to make this kind of tent. So what I want to do is I'm just going to start with a cube. You guys of course can work with your default cube. I'm just going to rename it to tent real quick. And basically for our size, what we can do is uh, make sure that in the scenes tab, you are working in whatever you prefer to work in. I'll be working in inches and I did change the scale of my grid floor to a quarter of an inch. So for our cube, I'm going to actually start with one inch by two inches by one inch. And of course you guys can always adjust this later on or now whatever you prefer for your dimensions this is just what I'm going to start with so we can get our general shape I'm just going to go ahead and tab in edit mode and I'm going to hit in because I don't need that side menu anymore I'm going to go into front view do control R and just go ahead and add a vertical loop here left click and right click so it stays in the center and I'm also going to go ahead and do a control R and do a loop horizontally as well and bring that towards the top just like that I'm just going to go ahead and hit Z for wireframe view A to deselect everything B for border select and grab this edge we're going to do X and delete those vertices go over to our modifier tab and do mirror modifier I'm going to go ahead and leave clipping off for right now and what we'll want to do before we apply clipping we're going to do border select and drag these over and then we can apply clipping so these guys don't detach. So just kind of set up your angle how you would want your tent to be. I think, you know, right about there. I'm not gonna do anything precise. And then I'm gonna go ahead and border select these edges up here and bring that over. And of course, if you want, you can rotate that to be a little bit more angular. I'm probably gonna do like that. And just to make sure that it stays flush, I'm going to do SZ0. And of course, you don't have to do that. You, of course, could leave it a little bit more angled on top. That's personal preference. Okay, so I'm going to do Control R and drag this over to maybe about here, however large you would want your tent flaps to be. I'm going to do Control R again and just left click, right click. And for these two, I'm actually going to border select these guys and select those. I'm going to do S, X, 0. Get that straight up and down. Okay. So we got our basic shape going. Um, real quick, before I forget, I want to go ahead and grab these four vertices. And we're just going to hit F for face to face that off so it is a solid model again. Okay. So what I want to do, I'm going to switch to face select mode here and we're going to create the board pieces in the uh, tent flap that comes out. So I'm going to grab these guys right here. I'm just going to go into side view, do E to extrude and drag that out slightly. And I'm going to deselect our tent flap and I'm going to extrude the board a little bit more so it is separate. Cool. So we have our log that is coming through here. Now, of course, it didn't happen on the back, so what I want to do is go ahead and do E to extrude, drag that out. And of course, you could always cut this in half and do another mirror modifier if you didn't want to do it again, but I don't need it precise, so I'm just going to go ahead and do the E to extrudes instead of adding on the Y mirror modifier. Okay, so there's that. Now, I also want two boards that are popping out of the side kind of like where these poles essentially would be so i'm going to do Control r i'm going to scroll up once so we get two loops i'm just going to go into top view do s and y and size those out till you get the thickness that you would probably want for the boards so i'm probably going to do about here so i'm going to do this and grab these three edges here or faces, excuse me, on the front and the back. So I'm just going to go ahead and go into front view. I'm going to do E to extrude. And actually, that's a little large for the side. I'm going to undo that real quick. 
There we go. And make that a little smaller. So I just added another loop. E to extrude, go into front view. I'm just gonna grab that and pull it out to about there. I'm just gonna do S, Z, zero and rotate it. So that way they are flat again. That's if you wanna do those sticks. Now, I don't want these extra crisp on the edges. So of course you could obviously grab the edges, do control B, oops. Grab the edges, do control B, and you can bevel them all manually. Or what I'm gonna do is just add a subdivision surface modifier. I'm gonna crank that up to three. I'll go ahead and sharpen all of the bottom edges. So I'm just gonna do B for border select, shift E and sharpen that. And you can kind of see you'll get some of those desired elements. So obviously I want this guy right here to be completely sharp. So I'm gonna do shift E. I want most of these posts to be sharpened, but some of it I don't mind a little bit more rounded. So the wood looks maybe a little bit more worn. So I'm gonna do control right click and I'm also gonna do shift control right click. So I can do shift E for the edges that are against the actual tent itself. I will go ahead and do sharpen it all the way. Shift E, sharpen that up. Oh, and we don't want to forget this guy right here. And then we'll start sharpening up this. So I'm gonna go ahead. Grab all of these, do shift E and do it probably just about there. So right where it starts to turn pink. And I'll probably do the same for this, shift E. Right about there and just do the same on the back. I'm gonna do this and hit period so I can focus in on it. Shift E. Like that. Shift E, awesome. So there's that. And then of course you can go back. I'm gonna go ahead and drag this out a little bit and you can go back in and sculpt these out a little bit more too to give it a little bit more dimension. Um, but I like the look of this. I am gonna go ahead and do Shift E to give that a complete crease though. That looks like a pretty good base. Um, these boards are a little large, but I don't really mind that since we're 3D printing this anyway. I need it to be a little bit exaggerated, so I'm fine with that. All right, so I'm gonna tab out of edit mode. I'm gonna do Shift A, Mesh, and we're, I'm gonna do a cube for our lantern. And I'm just adding a two to it since I did another lantern earlier as a test. So I'm just gonna size this way down size this down. I'm just going to pull it off to the side and model it and then we can resize it once we have it in front of the tent. All right, so tab in edit mode and with our cube, I'm going to hit period to focus in on it so we can actually rotate around it. I'm going to go ahead and grab these two front edges here or this whole face. I'm just going to do S and X and size that down to about there and pull it back. So basically what I'm doing is creating the front half 
of our lantern that we can sink into the tent to make it look like it's sticking out of it. So I'm kind of thinking a little bit larger, something like that. I'm going to switch to face select G mode, do E to extrude, E to extrude, and E to extrude. And we have to do them separately or else they'll extrude together instead of being separate faces. So make sure you do them individually. Now I'm going to grab all three, come down here to pivot point, change this to individual origin, and then just size them down. Maybe about there. Now again, we'll just go ahead and do E to extrude, E to extrude, and Alt right click and E to extrude. Now I want to drag them all out in their own directions so I can't select them all. So I'm just going to go ahead, grab this, oops, pull this one out. and pull this one out. Subdivision surface. And I'm just going to go ahead and sharpen basically all of this. I'm going to do control R and add a loop in our second. Control R, control R so we can get those loops in there. And again, I'm going to drag them out drag that out. So we get a nice rounded element to our frame of our glass. Just like that. I'm going to switch to face select. Grab this face here. Do E to extrude. Pull that up. E to extrude. Pull that up. Size these in and pull that back. And I also want to go ahead and size these in as well. Shift E to sharpen those up. You could leave this as is if you want. I'm going to do Control R, scroll that up, size. Control R, and I'm just going to go ahead, grab these two, draw them back. Shift E, just like that, so we get our nice indent there. And we'll go ahead and sharpen these guys in the back as well so we can get that nice and flat on the back. Perfect. So there is our basic lantern. I don't think I want that quite as high though. I'm going to lower this a little bit. Cool. Go into front view, drag this over along the x-axis and it's a little large. I'm going to go ahead and size that down to be about there instead. Whoop drag that all the way back. And of course, you could put this on the front and the back or just the front, whichever you would prefer. And we're just going to tuck this back so it meets our tent. Just like that. And then I'm just going to fix our tent fold a little bit. That's a little better. What I want to do is I'm just going to select everything to control a location and then rotation and scale just so everything is essentially fixed for Boolean. So what we can do with our tent selected, I'm just going to apply both of our modifiers. If you ever want to go back and make edits, I would highly recommend duplicating it first, um, but I'm pretty happy with the result. I'm just going to go ahead and apply them. I'm going to go ahead and add a Boolean modifier change this to Union, do Lantern 2, looks like that worked, tab into edit mode, and it did. Perfect, so there's nothing extra on the inside, 
we are all set. So I'm gonna go ahead and move this to our first layer by hitting M and then just clicking on the layer that I want. And we can compare it to our other tent. So you can see in comparison why the other tent might be a little bit more luxurious um, since it's so much larger, there's a lot more space, but this is our basic tent. That's basically just for sleeping. So other than that, I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you have any questions, feel free to post them in the comments below as well as requests or anything like that. If you want the quickest response, the best way to contact me is through Discord, which the uh, link for that is in the description below. And other than that, I will see you guys next week. Don't forget to like and subscribe and have an excellent week.